hello youtube welcome back to my video in this video i am going to show you how you can import an excel file which includes the multiple sheets uh, using php into mysql database okay so uh, i have already written the code and and have uh, shared in my link here so uh, we'll be following uh, all these uh, steps uh, mentioned in this page uh, to create that uh, upload functionality with the uh, uh, two uh, sheets in that okay so I have uh, a upload form here where you can upload uh, the excel file and it will automatically read the file and uh, uh, dump the complete data of um, uh, excel into the mysql table okay so I have my exam server already uh, installed in my uh, pc if you don't know how to set up a simple uh, php server in your pc have another video for that please uh, go and check that so I have my exam server installed uh, so the inside the stdocs folder we are going to put the complete code of uh, the project okay so uh, you can download directly all the code uh, from here or you can create uh, the pages one by one copy pasting the source code from here okay so I'm going to directly uh, download this so I have uh, downloaded uh, the project here let me extract it now and uh, all the source code is here okay so uh, let me uh, copy, uh, cut this and uh, paste it into the root folder and now we don't need these two okay so here I have uh, index.php where we will uh, upload uh, the files I mean uh, we have uh, uh, the upload form okay upload form where the file will be submitted uh, into upload form dot uh, php this page where it will uh, save the uploaded file into a folder named uploads okay so there is a folder named uploads so already one file is there let me delete and we'll uh, create that uh, file again okay so uh, once it is uh, uh, saved it to the uploads uh, folder uh, from here and uh, it will read directly the read file dot php okay so uh, the read file dot php is this one where it will first call the uh, database connectivity and then uh, sheet one will uh, sheet zero or uh, the first sheet will be uh, read uh, from here and uh, the second sheet will be read uh, from here okay that's all so uh, actually I will show you the excel file which we are going to uh, import so this is the excel file the sheet one is having uh, three columns here employee id payslip name and net salary and like that the sheet two is having uh, some columns around seven columns and some data is there okay there is almost uh, uh, 1300 I mean 1300 uh, records here and here also there is uh, like 927 records okay the sheet 1 uh, and sheet 2 has around uh, 1000 records now what we are going to do is first we have to uh, create uh, a database in our mysql so i have my mysql uh, client here so this is my mysql client where we will uh, where we have a database known as test where we will create uh, the table as exactly as what we are seeing here okay the first table will be having three columns and the second table will be having column around uh, seven columns seven or eight columns right yeah it's eight columns so I have already uh, copied the create query for uh, these two tables in my page so let me copy this from here and I'm going to create a table inside the test database with my query screen I have just copied everything like exactly like this and just run it and you can see uh, it's created the table is created inside uh, the test see sheet 1 is created and same way I'm going to create a sheet 2 here okay copy it from here and paste it here and uh, run it exactly like before and uh, sheet 2 uh, is also created here okay now uh, the you have to set the uh, database connectivity uh, with the credential supply in the db dot uh, php where you have you have to specify your uh, host name username password and the database which you are going trying to connect from uh, the read file dot uh, php here okay yes that's all we have set everything perfectly now we ha can run uh, the exam server and see how this works let me start my exam control panel here 
start it and uh, I have just started so if I'm just going to localhost it should show me the index.php okay so this is the index.php uh, which we have written here we have uh, uh, the form here and we'll try to upload the file okay so choose the file from here so this is the file which are, we are going to upload select it and click on upload and you can see I have uh, shown uh, the a message uh, sheet 1 and sheet 2 is uploaded so it's uh, showing from here actually so once uh, this uh, code snippet is uh, uh, executed it will show you here sheet 1 is uploaded which means uh, we are inserting uh, the data using this query and here the same way the sheet uh, 1 or uh, second sheet is uh, 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 read and uh, showing the message from here it is uploaded successfully so if there is more sheet like uh, uh, three or four or five you can just uh, copy paste this set of code and paste it here and uh, you have to create the insert query uh, according to uh, the sheet uh, which uh, you have uh, there okay so according to sheet you have the uh, the third sheet if it is having uh, five or ten columns you have to specify the column name and the uh, uh, the table name also okay and uh, yes one more thing uh, here I'm specifying how many rows to be read by uh, the code so I have already set it as 100 here and here also so might be only 100 values uh, might be added here okay you can see all the data is added and it's only 100 like that here also all the data is added uh, in the MySQL table and uh, here also is 100 okay let's uh, set is exactly the value which we are reading from there so the sheet one is reading around 927 so we will specify the 927 as uh, the sheet and the same way here also uh, it is uh, specifying here the second uh, is 133 1366 1366 okay let's save it and let's try to upload the file again here it is if I'm just uploading it is showing success and let's say oh, we have to empty this first or it will overwrite uh, I mean uh, uh, it will overwrite all the data on that so let me empty that table and try the upload again upload yes you can see the data should have added now yes you can see the data is added now let's see how many so uh, in the sheet 1 it's having 927 records and like that in sheet 2 also uh, it's 1366 records as per the uh, as per the data which we have uh, uploaded okay let's see like the last data you can see the last uh, all the data is uploaded so like this way you can upload an excel with any number of uh, sheets in that uh, keep in mind you have to make arrangement in, in this uh, uh, page the read file.php if it's more uh, columns uh, more sheets you have to increase uh, this code snippet and accordingly you have to create uh, the table and read the data okay so hope you got this uh, i will share the link this link in my description also you can have it and uh, if you have any doubt in this please comment below i will try to help you and please like and subscribe for my videos and thanks for watching